Oh, there you are, YouTube. So I think we're gonna do a random ranking today, and what that means is I go to my movie collection behind me. Whoa, I am really blown out right now, okay. Go to my movie collection behind me. I pick out three movies with my eyes closed, generally, and then proceed to rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite based on a wide variety of criteria. Um, it's, it's, it's always a little random, and that's the fun thing. My, my collection back here is not in alphabetical order. Someday it will be, but I just choose movies. They have no relationship to one another, and then I have to find a way to rank them. So that's what we're doing. Let's get to picking some movies. Okay, I think I'm gonna start maybe somewhere like down down low in this area, uh, but deep back. Oh, 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 can I reach it? Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna make that a little easier. Maybe somewhere back here, because I, I rarely ever go back there. Let's see. Maybe here. Sorry for the blown outness. All right. And then, you know, maybe something in this area, back here. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow. Two? Okay. Here, let me twist this here. Alright. Starting with The Illusionist. This is unopened, but I have seen this movie. And um, I just got it like this was like a Black Friday sale or something for a dollar. So that's that's why I got it. But I haven't opened it because I've seen it beforehand. And I just haven't returned to it because everybody's always watching The Prestige instead, right? How many people are like, oh, The Illusionist? Actually, I did meet a magician on a cruise once. And I was like, hey, do you like The Prestige or The Illusionist? And he's like, well... I might have to say The Illusionist because they, ha what did he say? I think he said that some of the tricks, or I don't know if tricks is the right word, illusions, magic, or whatever, that is happening in this movie are in line with traditional magic, I guess. I, d I don't know. But I, he picked this one and I was surprised because I was talking to a real magician but I think if you just ask a normal person, you know, just a, a regular person that's not a magician, maybe somebody that loves film, they're going to pick Christopher Nolan. So I was shocked when he said this. Okay, next movie. Weekend at Bernie's 2. Right? This one is uh, not as good as the first one. And I can't believe it happened. And it feels very choppy. Very choppy. Don't want to give too much away. Um, and then, here we go, um, 21, or no, sorry, 22 Jump Street, the sequel. Uh, I like the first one more, but we'll, we'll see how these movies rank. Look at that, two beach movies. These, these could be a double feature. Wouldn't it be fun to double feature the sequels of Weekend at Bernie's and 21 Jump Street, the part twos? I think, I think that could be fun. I, I, I honestly can't believe these were both pulled out. That's, that's funny. And then, illusions, Michael, the illusionist. Let's try and rank these. Sorry about the lighting, sorry. I've already forgotten, but I think this is the order in which I showed these to you. So how do we rank these? Okay, um, the, let's, you know, this one I've seen the most. I think I've seen this once, maybe twice. And I think twice, because I'm pretty sure I saw this in the theater. And then, you know, when I bought it. Pretty sure. And then this one, I don't know, just a couple times, maybe? They aren't like major watches, because if I'm gonna watch Weekend at Bernie's, I'm usually watching the first one, but I have seen this one more than a handful of times. So, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, sometimes I pick the movie that I know the best to be number one, because I'm familiar with it and have a relationship with it. So let's start with that here. But will it stay? Because I think the chemistry that we have between these two people, Tanning Chaikum and Jonah Hill, are, you know, it's some of the, the best that we have in, in cinema, right? I, I would love more of these movies. The way the end credits went, I'm not necessarily sure we will get more of these movies because they sort of parodied the idea of making more of these movies. 
but I, I like this one, but I like the first one more. I don't like that we have a rift between our two mains again, because we got that with the first movie. And what I really loved that they were is that they were buds, and I just wish there was no no rift here. Like he he falls in love with um, uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn's son, and it's just kind of like you know he gets a little jealous, and it's like you know I don't think I want to see that. I, I I want them to be buds till the end, through and through. You know we've already gone through that with the first one. So, but I mean it was it was flipped in the first one. You know he he was buddy with James Franco's brother. And he was, you know, feeling a little bit jealous. So I guess you have to flip it, but I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's keep this one here. Okay. Know it really well. Love it. It's a bad movie, though. And it's made, it, I think it's made poorly. So can I even put, I don't know, like, I, I like it, but I, I can objectively point out that this is not a good movie. It's so bad, like... And, you know, it's, I don't know. Okay, right now I'm thinking I like this one a little bit more. I don't know. Okay, this is hard. But here's the thing, The Illusionist, I don't even know why I'm, why I'm playing like I, like I care. Here's the thing, The Illusionist, I, like I said, I've only seen it maybe once or twice. Oh, Crash? Um, probably, you know, not the one with James Spader probably the the one that won best picture and then sideways that's a that's a great movie that Paul Giamatti is in is that Paul Giamatti yeah right there um I you know sideways is a great movie but um how you know I remember thinking some of the special effects look terrible in this movie so I'm gonna drop that a little bit along with the fact that I'm never itching to watch it Although I would like to watch it again. So we might be looking at this. But it's going to be kind of like a this. These two, you know, I watch this one quite a bit. But I objectively see that it's a bad movie. This one I haven't seen very much. But I have a lot of fun with it. Had a lot of fun with it. And, but I don't like everything that they do with it. So here's the thing. Nostalgia. Childhood. Or a newer movie that I liked, but don't really care about. Because I like the first one. I, I'm always watching the first one. But this one I'm not watching. So you know what? we got to move this down. Here it is. We just don't have, like, an amazing movie this time. Where sometimes we do. So here it is. Weekend at Bernie's 2. A not great movie is winning. And then 22 Jump Street. I have I have some issues with it. And then this one... You know, I don't really care about it, and I remember not liking some of the special effects. So this is where we are. This is my ranking. Have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching this random ranking, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.